Today we're taking a look at the All Powers R600 Portable Power Station. Thanks to All Powers for sending this kit over for review. The R600 features a lithium iron phosphate battery for energy storage. It has a maximum output of 600 watts and a capacity of 299 watt hours, meaning you can plug in either 600 watts worth of electronics for about 30 minutes, or the unit can output 299 watts for about one hour. This is a super nice budget friendly way to get some backup power into your house or an RV for example. The R600 includes the main power station and it comes with a 100 watt solar panel so you can keep recharging the battery throughout the day. As for the power outputs, on the front of the power station we have a 12 volt 10 amp car adapter, two 110 outlets for North America which can supply a combined maximum of 600 watts of AC power, two 100 watt USB-C ports, and two USB type A 18 watt ports. There's even a wireless Qi charger built into the top of the power station so you can wirelessly charge another cell phone or tablet while you have other devices plugged in. This is a great mix of AC and DC ports in my opinion. You can power a few lights, some small appliances, or in my case, a laptop, and maybe a monitor while you recharge your smartphone and you collect some free solar energy. Very slick in my opinion. The R600 also has a digital screen to read out the total level of battery charge, current power draw, and any power input that you're feeding the device to recharge it. You also have the estimated runtime, so it's very handy. Having a device like this can make not having power for a short period of time just a little bit more bearable. I know where I live, I get a lot of spring and fall season wind and rain, and I get a pretty nice winter season here too, sometimes a couple inches of snow, sometimes six feet of snow. This unit is perfect for keeping my laptops charged up and my S24 Ultra. Combining the power station's battery with the solar panel, this becomes super handy for me. I tend to lose power at least for a few minutes, maybe even an hour or two, during the spring and the fall when the rain gets real heavy here. Working from home without power is definitely kind of difficult. So having a little extra energy capacity in this unit is very nice. The R600 features high and low temperature protection, as well as over discharge and overcharge protection features. We also have overload, short circuit, and overcurrent protection as well. Since this power station uses a lithium iron phosphate battery, from what I've read, it's actually quite safe to have inside of your house. These batteries shouldn't bloat as much, and they're a little bit safer than older lithium ion batteries. But as always, do your research before you buy any type of battery. In my research, I also saw that lithium iron phosphate batteries have very good endurance in terms of recharges. All Powers rates this unit at being able to recharge at least 3,500 times and the BMS or the battery management system will automatically maintain the cells and charge and discharge them as needed to allow the system to function for a very long time. All of this is coming in a nice, small, good-looking package here. The power station weighs just over 15 pounds, and it's relatively small. This can easily fit on a table, your counter, or somewhere in your kitchen. You could even put this in your office, and it's definitely nice for an RV. You could even use it outside at a campsite. The 100-watt solar panel is super handy in that it folds, and it does have built-in stands on the back. Very portable, it even has a handle, so it can be carried around. If your power does go out and you end up training this, when you do get power back, you can actually charge this by regular AC outlets as well. You can also charge it by a car lighter power source, or you can use the included solar panel, or even add a couple extra solar panels to recharge this at a maximum of 220 watts of solar input. The device uses XT60 connectors, and it supports input voltages from 12 to 60 volts. So as long as you stay under 220 watts, and in that voltage range, you should be good to recharge. In terms of my test case, I have the R600 and my gaming laptop set up on a shelving unit in my garage. I have the solar panel connected, feeding some energy back into the system here as well. I'm actually running this laptop with no internal battery to make sure that all of the power it's drawing comes directly from the R600. The laptop looks like it's drawing about 100 to 120 watts peak during the testing. This combines GPU and CPU tests in 3D Mark Time Spy. Right now, it looks like I'm getting about 
30 to maybe 45 watts depending on the clouds. It's a mildly cloudy kind of day here so I think that's actually a pretty decent amount of solar energy to be pumping back into the battery. Based on the calculations that the unit is running with the input from the solar panel and the amount that's going out to the laptop, it looks like it's rating the unit to last at about 99 minutes. It should actually last quite a bit longer than that, but that looks like it's the max that the LCD panel can actually show. The R600 is a very slick power station in my opinion. It's super easy to use, it's got a great selection of outlets, and you can recharge it multiple ways. You also have that little LED light that's built into it, and like I said, you have a wireless G charger on the top of the device. You can actually use the R600 as a UPS as well. All Power says that it will basically switch from AC power to battery mode within 10 minutes seconds, which is quite fast. There is an app that you can download and use as well. You get a little bit more details on the R600 battery health, power input, power output, and a couple other stats, so definitely check that out. Right now this unit has an MSRP of about 300 bucks, but depending on when you look at it, there's probably going to be a sale or some kind of discount. I've seen it go as low as $200, which is super competitive for all of the tech that you're getting here and the utility. If you're interested in this, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below, so definitely head down there and check it out. If you're into gaming and home lab tech and tech reviews like this, definitely get subscribed to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, stay charged up.